Hey everyone, this is the Itasca Cedar Branch Library and we're going to show you how to make a marshmallow launcher today. Like so. Uh, so, we have a few ingredients listed out uh, today. We've got marshmallows and these are the mini kind. You can also use uh, the normal kind. They're not too, uh, too much bigger than this one, but the minis work quite well. We'll also have some balloons of different colors, scissors, and of course your uh, toilet paper um, roll. Now, uh, we ha also have some rolled up paper here. Just in case you don't have any marshmallows at home, you can totally roll up bunches of paper like this. They work just as well as the tiny marshmallows. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to take off this one that I made already. And then we already have one that's decorated. We kind of just glued white paper on the toilet paper roll so that we can decorate it easily. But you can totally um, decorate your toilet paper roll without any white paper. You do you. Whatever you like. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll grab a balloon. We'll just do any one. And um, what you want to do is stretch out your balloon so that it's not too taut or tight. Just a couple of stretches work. All right, and now what we want to do is make a, a knot for our balloon at the very end. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a trick to make a knot. We're going to use two fingers and we're going to stretch one end right over like so. And then we're going to kind of hold our end while we grab the other end and stretch. Kind of make a hole like this and that will allow you to pull the end through. And that makes just a simple knot. Um, parents, if you're watching this, you can help your child or um, children, you can just practice. That's all it takes. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and cut our balloon. So uh, a good rule of thumb is to cut it in half. Um, generally, maybe a little bit off the top. You don't want to cut it too much because then you don't have enough um, balloon to make your launcher. So we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to snip just a little bit off the top. Doesn't need to be too much. We'll do cut. And then we will open it. This one has air, but I imagine it will come out when I yes. snip the balloon. Yes, um, if your balloon has air, don't worry. Once you snip it, the air will come out and uh, you can open it up and stretch it. All right. So now that we have our cut balloon, we're going to take the balloon and open it. And we're just simply going to stretch it over the top of your toilet paper roll, like that. It should stick on, just like so. And it's okay if it has a little bit of the knot left, you kind of want that. If you also have a longer one, like um, she does, then that kind of gives you a little more leverage for your height, for the height of the marshmallow, this one's going to be shorter. So you can play around with the variation of how far you put your balloon and how much you cut it. And that's basically it. So now we're going to test out with some marshmallows. Gonna get, we're going to do one and then you can I'm do, going the to do the paper. paper. All right. So you just plop it right in there. And then um, I'm going to make sure it's kind of in the knot hole. And then we'll launch it. Whoa! What's gonna happen? <laughs> All right, and then you can always play around with it. Um, I've done two or three before, and those are always fun with how they um, shoot in various directions. So I'll kind of aim it upward. All right. So go ahead and uh, play around with your marshmallow launcher, decorate it how you want, um, and let us know um, what variations you make and which one works best for you. And uh, check out our other programs that we have uh, recording at Tasca Cedar Branch Library. Thank you. <laughs>